Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is almost here. We've waited a long, we've waited a while for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, Ramadan, the month of mercy. Ramadan lesson number 13. Love and Brotherhood In Islam, love and brotherhood with each other is very important. All Muslims should be united together as one. So that means that our hearts should be connected with one another so that we can stay together as one. In Islam, we are all brothers and sisters, which is why we should love each other as well as look out and care for each other. And doing so, that is the only way where we can stay united at all times. If any Muslim is hungry, it is our job to give them food. If there is any Muslim who doesn't have a place to live, then we should give them a place to live. If there is any Muslim brother or sister who is facing any problems, then it is our job to help them and pray for them. If you see the second part of our Prophet Musa peace be upon him story, you will see how Prophet Musa and Harun peace be upon them showed their love and brotherhood for the Bani Israel. When the Bani Israel forgot Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and made a golden cow as their god, Musa peace be upon him was very angry and broke and burned the golden pieces which afterward he threw them into the river. Worshipping any idol is a horrible crime. So, to get pardon from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their crime, he chose 70 leaders from Bani Israel and took them to Mount Sinai. Those 70 leaders requested Musa peace be upon him to hear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's voice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their request. Then, a big cloud came and covered them. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked with Musa peace be upon him, they all heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's voice. When the clouds were gone, some of the leaders demanded to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They said that if they did not see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would not believe in him. Their arrogant demand made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very angry. Suddenly a thunder came and the electricity from that lightning killed them instantly. Prophet Musa peace be upon him was helpless. He did not know what to do. With his love for his brotherhood of Bani Israel, he requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to kill them because they were good people among Bani Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his request. So, all of the 70 leaders got their life back. After being brought back to life, they all asked forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for their sins. Because they were very ungrateful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed a very hard law for the Bani Israel. Prophet Musa came to his people and told them, to kill each other, to get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pardon, everyone had to follow that order. That was a horrible moment for Bani Israel. So, they started to kill their own people. When Prophet Musa and Harun peace be upon them saw that horrible moment, their love for their brotherhood rose for the bad people and they started to request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive Bani Israel. Otherwise, the nation of Bani Israel would be destroyed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their prayer. To stop the killing, suddenly, everything became dark. Prophet Musa peace be upon him announced good news to his people, saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had forgiven everyone's sins. Same as Prophet Musa and Harun, peace be upon them, 
we should always pray for each other and help each other by loving our brothers and sisters. In the House of Islam, we are all brothers and sisters, and we have to feel like we are all connected as one. In Ramadan, we have the best chance to make our brotherhood stronger. Inshallah, Allah will help us. And for more information, we can see Surah Al-Anfal, verse 63, Al-Hujrat, verse 13, Al-Baqarah, verse 43, 238, 183, 198, and Al-Imran, 103 and 105. The month of mercy. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? Well, what if we told you that you can make that difference happen right now with our Ramadan fundraiser 2018? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawah mission and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible and Sadaqai Zariya, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. As Ramadan is the best rewarding month of the year, please join our Ramadan fundraiser 2018. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.